All right, so in this problem, we are looking for our highest value. Now, if we look at all of our answers, we're going to take one of our fractions and turn them into an anchor, and then we can compare all of our fractions to this one value. So our easiest anchor will be 1 sixth. If we ever have a, a fraction that has a one in the numerator, it will most likely be our um, easiest anchor to, to use. So if we have this 1 sixth, and we want to manipulate it a little bit, so we're gonna multiply just the numerator by six to get one. Now, one will be a very easy number to compare to, but because we multiplied the numerator by six, we enlarged this whole fraction six times, we're gonna to have to do so for all three of our other fractions. So let's start with three over 20. If we multiply by six over one, we get 18 over 20. Now if we go to our second one, 7 over 40, and we multiply by 6, we get 42 over 40. And our last one, 11 over 70, and if we multiply this by 6 over 1, we get 66 over 70. Now when we compare all these fractions, the only fraction that is larger than 1 is going to be 42 over 40, meaning that 7 over 40 will be our highest value.